Hey everyone, this is Adam Walker, Vice President of Engineering with Diamondback Firearms. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the setting on your adjustable gas block for your Diamondback DBX. As you can see in front of me, I have a DBX that has already been field stripped. Um, we did a separate video uh, specifically for field stripping, so if you have questions about that, I would refer you back to that video. But um, basically, once you have your DBX field stripped and disassembled to this level, changing your setting for your gas block is super easy. All you need to do is take a screwdriver or a coin or any kind of thing that will fit in these slots on your piston caps and basically you'll just rotate it. And you can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise uh, as many times around, as many revolutions as you need. Um, you know, there's no um, worry about it unthreading or backing out. It is pinned in position. Um, uh, another important thing to note is that it is a dual piston system and the settings for the gas port are done independently per side. So it is important that you always make sure you have both the left and the right side uh, adjusted to the same setting. Otherwise you will have one piston that is driving you know, harder and faster than the other, which can cause uneven wear and um, actually will void your warranty. Um, so please make sure you have the same setting on both the left and the right sides. Um, so as you rotate it, you will feel and hear it click as it goes between the settings. And there are four settings per side. So go, there's one, two, three, and four. One is the smallest gas port size and 4 is the largest gas port size. So the indication of what setting you're on will be which number aligns with the little V pointer on the gas block. So when you're viewing it from that side of you know the piston on that side just rotate it around till the setting the number for the setting that you want is lined up with the pointer. Rotate it around. Uh, do the same on the other side. Just rotate it and make sure <clears throat> that you're on the same setting. You can maybe hear it clicking in the video, hopefully. And again, I'm just going to verify the shooter's left side is on setting 2. Shooter's right side is on setting 2. So this is properly adjusted and ready to reassemble. So we will now do a reassembly video. Um, but that's it for adjusting your piston. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to Diamondback Customer Service. And again, thanks, and we'll see you next time.